I am in Bangalore at the place where Team Indus, India's entrepreneurs, young entrepreneurs who are making a bid to win the Google X Prize to reach the moon. I have with me Rahul Narayan, one of the founders of this team, a man who is guiding this and who hopes to back that 30 plus 10, 40 million dollar prize. Rahul, at what stage are you and are you confident of reaching the moon? So we have completed our design. Uh, what you see behind us is, is a manifestation of that design. And uh, we are now starting to build our space. So we feel very confident about the direction that we are taking. And we are now partners who are this hardware. In India, all the space technologies are linked with the Indian Space Agency, the Indian Space Research Organization. You are a private entity. How confident are you that you will be able to, one, leave Earth, go to the moon, land on the moon, go travel 500 meters on the moon? What is the level of confidence you have? So the level of confidence comes from the fact that we have been working in this area now for months. So when we started off, we were relative, relatively new to, this, to, the, to the industry. Uh, ISRO is the, 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 the central body which has been doing all space over However, we have created a good ecosystem. So there are some large, really large uh, airspace carriers, we have managed to leverage the expertise and knowledge base which exists in this ecosystem. So that has helped us with the design. The launch is something that we know for a fact has to happen. So the confidence in the design, which is our ability to get to the moon, to decelerate, to touch down and move, is coming from the confidence that we have in the experts. Our ability to get off work is of course entirely dependent on how our discussions with the school. We are we already talking to them. We are you have what is the volumetric model. It feels far from anywhere near what will probably fly to the moon. How does it give you any confidence that you will be able to go where you want to go? So this is part of the design evolution process. So when you start designing a new space system, you start with the very basics. So space typically runs off the first as opposed to other areas where the model can build off certain existing theories. So in first principles, your structure, what that we have done is, is our structure. This is about 2.6 meters in diameter, it is about 1.5 meters tall. So what you're looking behind us is the first model we have. There are four other models before we reach what we call as a So this is the first iteration. You'd, you'd start seeing newer iterations as we can we probably have our iteration every so, and with each iteration... You don't have too many quarters in hand. Uh, yeah, so we got about six quarters and we got four models to go from now to then. So <laughs> you'll probably see a new model each quarter and, and with every model you'll see greater confidence on the structure, the electrical design, the, the simulations and responses. What is the average age of your team? Oh, good question. <laughs> so we have the 20 year olds, the young team that we have which is designing this. Then we have a few people, 40 year olds at my age, we will be trying to manage this, this moonshot as a new city. And then we of course have the advisors, which are mostly uh, retired research scientists, chairs, drawn from a similar ecosystem, who have to advise us. And how much, how much do you pay you the cost for this whole mission, which is making this, making this satellite, the lander, the rover, the launch cost? So for us, uh, we believe the full mission, which is Launch cost, and we have an estimate on that. The systems cost, the development cost, the modification cost, and then overheads is around 200 crores. That's that's the whole part. Uh, this could go up. I think it's even coming up. This could go up by uh, 10 to 12 percent. Which will be one of the very cheapest missions going to. Oh, work. absolutely. Even from even from the you know the, the the competition perspective, all other teams are still paying their costs. Up. So you know, all other teams are, are talking about the 60, 65 million. We're almost half of that. 
That is because your launch cost is cheap. That's one way of looking at it. The other way of looking at it is we have great talent, which is underappreciated in our country, and we're able to replace that. Hopefully, after this mission, that talent will be great in addition. And what do you hope to do after this? So this is a big start, and this is like the big goal that we stand in front of us. Having said that, this is one of the milestones that we believe we can accomplish. There would be other things that our organization and the organization work towards. Having said that, this is still two years out. There is lots of things that we have to get right to be handled. And 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 well, you know, before that, we would. That was Rahul telling us that the model is ready. There will be a couple of more models before they are ready to go to the moon, which is sometime in October 2015. If they have to reach before 31st of October 2015, which is the end date given by the Google X Prize, a big challenge. And hopefully, Team Indus and India's flag would be on the moon, and not just the tricolor which went with Chandrayaan 1. Truly, India's flag on the moon is what Team Indus and this very young team is planning to do with its small budget but big ambitions.